Hi everybody, it's the Retro Yuki once again, giving you guys today's special tutorial for the Moody game. If this is your first time here on the channel, I do Moody game tutorials as well as other anime game bot tutorials for you guys to help you guys out in your Discord journey. I also starting a gaming section for you guys. So if you guys are interested, let me know by subscribing into the channel and liking the video. And for today's video, we're going to be trying out a new series called Troubleshooting Mude, where I'm going to give you guys some common common mistakes, common common tricks to help fix some problems with the Mude bot, okay? So let's get started. I have five for you guys in this video, and we're going to get five more in the next time. Next time. So here we go. The first one, the first common problem is messages from the bot is not loading. Now there's a few reasons why this could be the case. Make sure you have a channel where you, you can put your your Moody commands, like the claim game. Go to the edit channel area. What you want to look for is permissions. Okay. Now notice how advanced permissions is here, roles and members. Make sure you add plus sign. You want to look for Moody. Now be very careful. You want to look for the bot, not the role. You want to find the Moody face, this Moody face. When you have that, make sure they have the opportunity to view the channel, not manage the channel, not manage permissions, not manage webhooks, do not create an invite with X. But you want them to send messages, embed links, attach files, and add reactions. There's one other thing you want to include if you're going to do this with slash commands, which was just released. And I'll talk about slash commands in a moment. But slash commands allow members to use slash commands in this channel. Make that a check mark because they just added that for the for the game just recently. If you guys want to take a look at that video, I'll have some type of card for you guys to learn about them. So Let's say now that we have our commands ready, okay, in the claim game. So if we do this right, you should start getting messages from the bot, okay? And I am doing it correctly. The messages are correct. This is the correct message, but I'll talk about Toggle React 3 in just a moment. But messages are coming in, so this is correct. So we have done it correctly. Make sure that for the channels that you want the commands in play, that you use the, the permissions, okay? Question number two, or problem number two. The heart reactions on, on the bottom of the photos are not showing up. Okay, this can be for a variety of reasons. However, there is one common thing. In a recent January 2021 update, they actually removed the heart command for for the bots that are brand new ever since before, after January 2021. So if you just added the bot after January 2021, then you're not going to see the heart reactions by default. What you're supposed to do is dollar sign, and there's two ways. Toggle React 2 or Toggle React 2 is going to be for the admin for everybody. So we go to Toggle React 2. As you can see, our reactions are automatically added under the rows of everyone, but your server has a base row of seven. So you can only have seven rows. That's the catch for the Toggle React 2. Perse React 2 is for yourself. So toggle react per personal is dollar sign P E R S toggle react two is exactly the same thing as toggle react two but for only for yourself. So keep that in mind. Now I cannot update it again because I has a three hour cooldown, but that's basically why the hard reactions are not coming up. If you use toggle react zero. That means it's back to default. By default, you have to react with the reaction button. Like this one right here, when we go to react here, 
You have to add the reaction for yourself, okay? So that's why we have to do that. Okay. Number three, slash commands are not working. Now, this is based off our brand new update that I just published a few, a few days ago. So the slash commands are brand new. So this is gonna be a more of an experimental section. But here are some of the reasons why the slash commands might not be working. So let me show you what exactly what I mean here. So we put the slash here. You're gonna see a list of commands that pop up for your Mude game, okay? Now keep in mind, you want to look for the Mude face. Because if multiple multiple bots have the have this last command, then all their faces or icons, as it say, will appear on your left side. So Mude has all this for slash commands, okay? So when when you click when you click on one, let's say slash help, you press enter and it's going to go for and it's going to give you the command as if you use the dollar sign. Okay. Here's another reason why it might not work for you. The bot itself has not does not have the right permissions. And we talked about permissions a moment ago, where you use the permissions here, you go to Mude, and you want to make sure that this right here, the use last command, has a check mark. Make sure you have a check mark for that particular channel. Okay? There is another reason why it's not prob probably working. You are using the incorrect type of slash. So, if you know about the computer, the keyboard, there are two types of slash slashes. The backslash, like in websites, and the forward slash that looks like this, where you're using the wrong slash. That is the incorrect slash, you're looking for the backslash like in websites, okay? That's another reason why, all right? Question number four, number four, problem number four, your server is only allowed to use the role with slash command. So again, with the new update, the, the new update also included a new default setting. That default setting, by the way, is toggle react three or I should say slash command only. So when you have put in the bot, if you put in the bot before April the 7th, the 16th, I believe, then you're okay. But if you put in after the 16th, then the new rules apply with new servers. So you're only allowed to use toggle the, the slash commands. To, to change this, there's a few ways you can use this. Change this. Dollar sign toggle toggle slash a new command where you can only use the um, slash commands. Now I already enabled it, so I'm going to go back the other way and disable it for the server. Okay, that's toggle slash. Okay. Remember, every new server has it enabled. Though there's a few ways to get around this. You can use toggle react zero for the whole server if you're an admin to go back to normal, but you don't have the reaction underneath. You have to add it yourself. Or you can go to purse toggle react zero for the same thing, but only for your roles. Okay. The final question of the night of the day for this particular video is going to be the interaction fail message. So a few questions came up, a few comments came up on the brand new channel, on the brand new um, video about slash commands to see if there's an interaction fail message. Here's a few reasons why. There, there is actually one reason why. You're using too many slash commands in five seconds. The Moody bot has su suggested that you limit it to two commands every five seconds. So what's going to happen is, let's say I use, I'm going to roll HG, then I'm going to roll again. So the interaction has failed, right? So you have to remember, if you go back to back to back, then 
then you cannot you cannot you cannot use it right also remember that I, I already disabled this last command because I wanted to show you guys why it was not working to so enable them again this use toggle slash all right and then you should be able to re-roll here and I'm gonna re-roll again and I'm gonna re-roll again so like that okay now let's say I'm a mad typer they're gonna have a delay you see that delay now Uh, come on, there we go. You see how much delayed it is now because of the of the slashing? It might give you a message failure if you keep spamming it, okay? That's why they also did that, okay? So that is it for our first edition of Troubleshooting Mude. I know there's going to be plenty more. So what I'm going to do is in the comments below, let me know your let me know your problem in the Moody bot and I'll try to do another one soon. Another troubleshooting Moody. Okay, but that, that's it for now guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I did not get to answer your questions today, do not worry. Let leave them in the comments below. And I'll try to do another troubleshooting Moody soon. You guys like this? If you guys like this series, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys like the video. That's all for now. We'll see you guys next time.